let us now see what are the problems with the regression loss that we had defined for rotated object detection in just the previous video. So if we consider the black to be an anchor box, the green to be a ground truth box and the red to be a prediction box. And uh, if we see the parameters that is width, height and the angle and compare it with that of the ground truth box, we find that the regression has taken place accurately. But if we consider the center point coordinates, they have not regressed accurately. Now, in the previous video, we had seen that to compute the smooth L1 loss, that is the regression loss, uh, we had taken these uh, what you call values for calculating the regression. So we see that along these points on the circle, which are equidistant from the center point coordinates of the anchor, these uh, parameters would have the same value. What this would imply is that the smooth L1 loss along all the points on this circle would be zero, which actually implies that along all these points on the circle, the IOU should be one, but this is not the case. The IOU would only be one when this overlaps with this center point. And on these points, when there is no overlap, the IOU would be zero. So therefore there is an inconsistency between the accuracy metric being governed by the IOU and the loss which is the smooth L1 loss. And another inconsistency can be seen when we consider the aspect ratio part of it. So if you draw your attention to this square box, here we see uh, that the aspect ratio goes on increasing. And if we look at the parameters of say the red to be a ground truth box and the green to be a prediction box, we see that the parameters of width, height, the center points have regressed accurately and uh, the angle parameter although not aggressed but is kept constant as we increase the aspect ratio so we see that in this case if we increase the aspect ratio the smooth l1 loss would be constant but if we look at the iou which is given by this overlap area here and here this would go on decreasing so 1 minus iou goes on increasing so again we see that there is an inconsistency between the metric which is given by the IOU and the loss here, that is the smooth L1 loss.